Bit of an update from Spain for getting on for, what, probably around the 20th of uh, February. Um, it's been a rough couple of weeks because obviously we've had the funeral stuff going on. Um, also making sure that all the costs are covered, etc. But it's also the fact that we're so far away, you know, because obviously you, you want to be there at these sort of times. But now... Uh, my father-in-law was um, entombed yesterday. Um, we can sort of move forward in that sense because although it's a chapter closed, it's a it's not a chapter forgotten. It's but it's more a case of the last few weeks we've had to focus on that over everything else to make sure that medical cover was sorted. You know, make sure he was taken care of properly, and then obviously making sure he he got a good send-off. So. Now we're back to sorting things out in Spain. April's paperwork is now through the Spanish Embassy. Um, so we're just waiting for that to come through and then we'll be sorting stuff out here and April's residency will be the next thing on the list. Once that's done, um, we're going to be going a bit more uh, aggressively into our life in Spain. I mean, I've sat back a bit because it's so easy to do here in Spain. Um, you get distracted. <laughs> I was saying in April this morning. Um, I've lost three days' work this week because we've been doing other stuff. Because uh, obviously yesterday, because it was the funeral stuff, um, we had the funeral in the morning. But then I've sort of gathered photos and videos and stuff from people where at the funeral and today i put a little slideshow together for that um yesterday i was trying to get myself motivated again as well so i did a video on the alicante channel for one of the apartments well i keep calling the apartments the house the house for sale um because i'm trying to get back into day-to-day -day stuff um uh, chasing up some work contracts in the UK got got one guy that's interested also picked up um, a little bit of work from the company that I was working with last last year um, not a lot but in in all honesty I only need five days work a month to pay my bills um, so getting like one day a week is nearly enough for us because financially we got enough money in the bank anyway for for nearly a year now. I say nearly a year because we had to buy into it a little bit for the funeral costs, but I know we'll recover quite quickly. I've had job offers where they want me to go back to the UK, but A, I can't because we're just in the last process of this residency stuff, but B, I need to sit and have a chat with the guys um, at immigration and say, look, if I do contracting work, because they say you only allow 90 days, um, how would that affect things? You know, if I went there for three months, then come back for four months, then went back for two months, would I be over? Would it affect the family visas, etc.? Um, but yeah, things are back to normal and the live chats will be starting again. Thanks for watching.